It's very easy to say that this week's episode of Mob Psych 100 is my favorite episode of the entire series up till now. The development and characterization that we got to see with Reagan and the realization that Mob all along knew who Reagan was makes past events and makes this character dynamic so much better. I mentioned it last week that I was really hoping that Reagan would admit who he is to Mob as that would lead to much better character development and much better past that these characters could take because I was really worried that he would just go back to being a con artist like where he started off. But the fact that one went the route of actually developing this into a new territory rather than playing it safe and keeping them the same, forcing characters to reflect on their mistakes, that's what sets him apart as a manga author than other people out there. Reagan is a con artist and I think many viewers, even myself included to a certain degree, have come to accept that Reagan conning people, including conning Mob, was okay and it was excusable. The fact that one developed Regan into someone who had to self-reflect and understand that he is a con artist and that he had to be honest with things, that's what needed to happen. And that final moment in this episode when Mob says he always knew who Regan was, that he was a good man, like that means everything. That is absolutely incredible because psychics can tell, right? Psychics can tell who a true psychic is. And I like the fact that Mob just sees Reagan as someone who, when in his time of need, when he was a young kid scared of the world and what was happening to him, Reagan lended a helping hand and said the things that he needed to hear. And to see where that development ultimately went, seeing yes, all the times Reagan did con Mob, it also feels genuine in a father dynamic, and it makes it so much better. That is absolutely what I want to see and what puts Season 2 of Mob Psych 100 in another level than Season 1 and makes Season 1 even better than it already was. The dynamic between Reagan and Mob is incredible and it's only going to get better. They got brought back together and it happened in a very natural way. Seeing the entire room shake during that press conference when Reagan was at his lowest and he says, you know, you've really grown up, just directing that towards Mob and seeing how Mob was helping him out in that situation to kind of clear his name. That was beautiful and touching, and I love how Reagan automatically knew what was happening, and he used that to his advantage to get the press out of there. This entire episode was about breaking Reagan down. That first stretch of the episode, showing off kind of the fake psychic and Reagan believing that, oh, he's clearly an actor, so I'm going to play it up. But of course, that was all just TV to expose the fact that Reagan is a fake, and watching the hate gets worse and worse. On one hand, I'm thinking to myself, this is horrible and I feel so bad for Regan, but on the other hand, if karma exists in the world of Mob Psycho 100, this is karma coming back to bite Regan in the ass. He even admits it in this episode how, you know, he was going to stop originally, but what kept him going for as long as he did? Well, it was because Mob came into his life and because Mob was a true psychic, he could actually take on real cases. And it's interesting how this is such a conflicting arc because you see so many things that Regan did that are scummy, but at the same time, he did help so many people. And like he says in the press conference, can you actually point to any victims? Can you point to any crimes here? No, all these people going on TV, it's full of shit. Like, he completely calls out the bluff, and I love how he's able to navigate that press conference and really showcase and, like, actually answer questions, but also not answer questions while not actually giving a straight answer, saying, like, you know, he's not going to comment on the fact of is he or isn't he a psychic because they wouldn't accept anything but no. It's amazing how this episode functions. It starts off so fun and so Reagan charmed. He's doing the Reagan maneuvers. He's doing his over the top kind of shonen moves to, you know, exercise a person. And then it just blows up in his face in the mockery. Like, you feel bad, but at the same time, this had to happen to Reagan. It was time to kind of man up and own up to what's happened over his life. And the fact that you can see his mother is very worried about him and he's scared of reading those emails because he is a con artist. He knows he is a con artist and look at what he's doing to his family. How is he going to navigate it? He was going to accept her kind of like speech to kind of clear this all up, maybe go on to a new life. And just to see that resolution with Mob, that was heartwarming and very touching and really puts Mob Psycho 100 in another level than it already was because that characterization is amazing. So many series would want to keep Mob and Reagan as they are. Mob, the kind of clueless idiot who gets used. Reagan, the con artist, using Mob. That's what most series would want to do. But the fact that one actually makes their characters reflect and grow, that's what needs to happen. Reagan easily could have stayed the manipulative con artist, and I know he's still going to have that con man charm, but the fact that the cards are out in the open, Mob and Reagan are really on an equal playing field, and it really is a family dynamic. That development and self-reflection you don't get to see enough of in series such as Mob Psycho 100 and why it's so damn breathtaking. This might be 
one of the best moments in this anime season is this episode. That's how damn good it is. The visuals, of course, were amazing. I love all the sloppy line work, how, you know, when Regan's shocked, he's not fully colored in. It's just this over-the-top, and, and it really reflects his mentality of how shook he truly is. There's the over-the-top kind of serious reactions. The visuals were spot on, as was the visual directing. It plays around with perspective, how shots are framed. Everything about the visuals was Mob Psycho 100 to a T, absolutely perfection. But the voice acting and the realization with the script and how it really opens up Regan's past and how the day he was ready to give up and maybe do, you know, private investigations or something else, Mob came into his life and showed him something completely different. If you say that doesn't hit you right in the heart, right in the feels, I don't know what will and maybe you're lying because that is damn emotional and that is amazing. This episode, absolutely stellar. I love how it has everything that makes Mob Psycho 100 what it is. Stunning visuals, stunning music, stunning voice acting, very fun scenes where Regan's putting on the Regan con man charm to then just shattering character development to push him to his absolute lowest so Mob can bring out the highest of highs. The fact that Mob's final, like one of Mob's final lines in this episode is how he always knew his master was a good man. In this episode, he even says like when things are kind of blowing up, like, hey, haven't you heard Mob? Your, your master, he's a con artist. Like, look at everything that's happened. And his first thought is that's always been his plan. Mob truly believes in Regan. Even when they were kind of having their little divorce, kind of separation going on, Mob still believed in Regan. It was just time for Mob to grow up, and if Regan was going to hold him down, he had to leave. It was time for Mob to be his own man. And the fact that now they are kind of on equal terms now, Mob's going to be able to come back to Regan. Mob's going to be able to hang out with Regan, and Regan's going to understand that he can't keep Mob caged. He is developing into his own person, and that Mob is still going to stick by with him. That realization, that development, is something I don't get to see enough of, and it stuns me how good this episode was. I can understand, because I, I heard, I could be mistaken, that the director of Mob Psycho, this was apparently his favorite arc in the manga. I can understand why. <laughs> like, this arc, it puts Mob Psycho into a completely different league. It's not just flashy animation and cool psychic fights. It's actual character development and realization of past things make so much more sense. And Regan, the lovable con artist, really grew from this. And I love how Mob had his back. At the end of the day the fact that mob is the only true person to wish reagan a happy birthday at the end of all this this these two these two lovable goofballs they have their issues they have their moments that they're they might want to punch the other but that is a true father son like dynamic best friend dynamic whatever you want to call it that is absolutely stunning i don't think i've ever been this impressed from mob psych 100 before i've had moments hell there was a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago where i was like this is my favorite episode of mob psych 100 it was amazing but to see what one was building up to all along and what can happen afterwards now i think we're only like halfway through the story now because i think by the time this anime does finish adapting everything, it will be probably a, a three season adaptation. So we still have like 18 episodes left probably until this series completely wraps up. Maybe only six, I don't know exactly. But still, there's so much new things, new content, new paths that these characters can now take. You know it's going to still have that Regan charm, going to have the mob charm, it's going to have the over-the-top reactions. But at the same time, these characters are now balanced. It's not Regan up here and Mob down here kind of being manipulated. It feels like two equal people. And even though Regan may not have psychic powers, he truly is an equal in Mob's eyes. And what Regan has to say, those words of wisdom and how he can navigate scenes with just his dialogue, that's always impressed Mob. And how Mob's powers have always impressed Regan. Like these two need one another. And because of this shattering realization and this growth, they now can look at each other as an equal rather than someone being on a different playing field. Amazing development. Absolutely stunning. Visuals spot on. Voice acting spot on. Everything about this episode, it moved me. I was like, I felt bad saying it, but I was like, I'm glad Regan is being shattered and brought down to Earth and having to kind of answer for his actions. But at the same time, I didn't want him to completely go down. I wanted him to grow because that's the beauty of people. We can grow, we can develop, and we can change. And Mob being there to save the day, to help him rise to the occasion that is what i like to see mob psych 100 incredible season 2 best episode of the series to date let me know whatever you thought down in that comment section below manga readers 
How was it? Were you hitting the feels like me? Was it the perfect adaptation, a weak adaptation, anime originals, whatever everyone is feeling? Let me know down in that comment section below. And be sure to like the video if you did enjoy, and also hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. But until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.